Okay, today we're going to do another quick molar conversion, and we should be able to convert very easily between grams, particles, and volume. I think this is kind of a good little roadmap that you can keep in your head that can show you how you can get back and forth between grams, particles, and volume. These things are all related to each other through the mole. We know that um, if we have a certain number of grams of substance, we can convert to moles through its molar mass of that substance, because we know that one mole of any substance has a fixed mass. And then we can convert very easily between particles and moles through Avogadro's constant, because we know that one mole of the substance is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles, which we mean like molecules or atoms or ions or something like that. And then we know that the volume of a gas at standard temperature and pressure is related to the mole through its molar volume, because one mole of any gas at standard temperature and pressure has a volume of 22.4 liters, all right? So those are the conversion factors that you can use very easily to convert grams, particles, and volume, all right? So let's go on and do a few problems. Okay, in today's video, we're gonna do another molar conversion, and this time we're gonna be converting from grams to volume of a gas. And you can see if we go from grams to volume of gas, we have to go through moles first, so this is going to be a two-step problem. So let's read the question really quickly. It says, what is the volume of 110.45 grams of argon gas at standard temperature and pressure? So you can see that in this case, we have been given the mass. So we're going to start at grams. We want to know what is the volume. That's what we're trying to find. So we're going to go across this way from grams to moles to volume. All right, I'm going to use our conversion factors. And so we're going to write down, the first thing we're going to do for part one is we're going to write down what we've been given, 110.45 grams. We're going to do our first conversion, converting from grams to moles. We know that the molar mass is the conversion factor that we're going to use. And in this case, we're going to put the, the mole on the top. We're going to put the molar mass of argon on the bottom, excuse me. The molar mass is 39.94 grams. You can see we did that so we can cancel our grams. Grams cancel, grams cancel. We're left with moles. And in this case, the answer is 2.77 moles. So that's the first answer that we need. That's the answer to the first part. Now we've gotten from grams to moles. We have our moles. Now we're going to go from moles to volume because we know that one mole of a gas at standard temperature and pressure is equal to 22.4 liters. So now we're going to bring our moles over here. We have 2.7. We have 2.77 moles. We'll put our multiplication sign down. Put our line for our division for our conversion factor. In this case, we're going to use this conversion factor, one mole. We have a mole here, therefore we know automatically. A mole goes in the bottom. We do that so we can cancel, just like we did over here. Gram, gram on the bottom, mole on top, so we have our mole left over. Mole, mole on the bottom, and we put our volume on the top, 22.4 liters. We're left with liters, and in this case, we know that our answer is going to be 62.05 liters of argon gas at standard temperature and pressure. So that's the answer. We started off with 110 grams. We went from grams to moles. We got 2.77 moles. Then we used our other conversion factor, and we went from 2.77 moles, and we end up with 62.05 liters of argon gas. Okay? Thank you. I hope that was helpful. How that works, Sam?